Well, I guess there's no point standing around here feeling sad. I'm sure it must be hard for you to tear yourself away. I feel like I've lost a dear old friend. Yes, well, you and Stu certainly put a lot of years into this place. You know, when we bought this, everybody said we were crazy. I remember the first time Stu brought me out here. It's a cold day. Oh, this place was a mess. You should have seen it. We were picking our way through the dust and the cobwebs. All of a sudden, a big rock fell out of that mantelpiece over there. It scared the daylights out, Stu. That must have really been something. We had such a good time fixing it up. We got so excited. We found those beautiful old bricks behind the plaster. Big wide floorboards upstairs. Oh, now, Joanne, don't. <laughs> well, it seems wrong. It's such a waste. This beautiful old place, it should have brought pleasure to a lot of people for years and years to come. Yeah, you have some very good memories from the years you spent here. Yeah. I guess it's time to start thinking about the future. Yeah, like the inspector said, you shouldn't have any problem with the insurance company. That, that's right. So we can start to rebuild. You know, Mark, may, may, maybe we can use the walls that are still standing. They just won't ever quite have that quality again. You don't sound very enthusiastic about the idea of starting over. Oh, I think I'm just still kind of overwhelmed. Stu and I'll sit down and we'll, we'll think about it and decide what we really want to do. Oh, and I wonder if rebuilding is really worth all the effort. I mean, running the inn was a very busy and exciting time, an exciting chapter in your lives. And I wonder if maybe what happened doesn't mark the end of that chapter. Well, maybe it does. I know it's important to, to accept what, what's happened here, really accept it. But at the same time, we shouldn't get discouraged. We gotta keep remembering that. And, and, and look ahead. Because that's the only way. <laughs> 